now for as low as $149 night coach. More video games. These dang old video games. It looks so weird seeing Super Mario Brothers in like Hyper HD. I'm sure I can do all of those things. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, Alright, let's fuck it. Also, I'm on Wi-Fi. That probably doesn't matter in a game like this, actually. Oh, I need to change it. That's right. thinking of one one baby so it's like you have a timer but the timer you get more time by getting coins and killing enemies is that it i'll find out i'll find out oh there's a little a little thingy on the bottom I'll tell you what you're doing Sweet. Oh. okay all right So wait, what happens if you finish the stage? Does it just start over? You just play 1-1 one, one again? Oops! I guess if you die, you lose time? I'll figure it out. Also, if, can you just do the shell trick and, and just, like, get infinite time? Maybe they don't let you play that level that has the shell next to the, the flagpole. Damn it. I knew... <laughs> I was like, this hitbox is gonna dick me over at some point. So I'm out, right? That's it? Yeah. Yay! Oh! Whoa! Wow! Wee! Wow! Um. Hmm. All right. Housing is wild in Vancouver. Come to Alberta. We are Texas light. Getting a lot. Getting more like Texas. Add Mosu. Does that just mean everyone's chill and drinks light beer all the time? Like, what aspects of Texas? I guess if you've never. Hmm. I guess it depends. How do you eliminate people? I guess... Oh! So I guess if you kill enemies, it sends enemies to other people's games, and if those enemies kill them, then you get the KO? Kinda? You just have to be the last one left alive? Interesting, I think. And then getting more time just means... I don't know what it means. And you get coins so you can do this, like, Mario Kart roulette thing? That makes sense. Does that sound people getting knocked out? So there's really not a point to, like, proceeding through the levels. It's more about... Um, time speeds up as people get eliminated. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I like how it shows the queue of enemies uh, waiting for you when you move forward. So you can kind of sit and let it stack up to, to crank out a bank of uh, a bank of time. Dang it! I missed it twice. I 
was, man, I was never very good at the original Super Mario Brothers. Just super not good at it. Huh. I acknowledge that. 1-2 is the best place to farm coins. Do, um... What kind of things show up in the, uh, in the, like, item roulette? Is it things that would actually objectively... Ah! Uh, God. Was it things that would, like, turn into attacks, I guess? So you just, you just super want to, like, flood other players with, uh... Fireflower's good. Mushroom, Fireflower, Pow, and Star. Okay. Huh. It's crazy to remember the levels, having not played since I was a kid in the 80s, knowing where the hidden blocks are. Yeah, I only know that there's like that 1-up and 1-1. One, one. Oh, that one. What is the... I didn't even look. What does the 1-up get you? Is it just... Does it just convert into coins? Yeah, you can use... I, I am familiar with the targeting mechanic, because that's identical to Tetris 99. Just trying to figure out how to... Um, you should select the other levels. Do you... So you're only matched against people that pick the same starting level that you do? I guess that makes sense. Okay, so yeah. Looks like every time I, I blip an enemy, it just shoots off to, a, to somebody else's game. Okay, yeah, it just gives you an instant item pull. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Alright. Alright, yeah, I can see it. Right. it out. It's... hmm. Yeah. Huh. I guess it is a little, just teensy bit shades like, like Tetris 99. Cause I was, I'm thinking of like, if you send a bunch of enemies to somebody's low on time, then they can kill them all and uh, get more time back. So why would you do that? Wouldn't you just starve them out? I guess it's, yeah, it's, it's down to whether or not you think uh, they'll be able to clear all those enemies and get time versus get hit by one of the enemies and die. Yeah. So sim similar vibes, but I feel like, Hmm. I haven't, uh... I mean, I'm, I'm killing myself pretty effectively right now, so it's not like uh, I have any place to talk. But it kind of feels like, to some degree... That, um... Here, let's try this. And I guess, yeah, you can send different enemies. Yeah! The nature of, of, like, Mario just coasting and landing on the edges of hitboxes always dicks me up. You gotta send enemies to other people to get time so you're rewarded for attacking. That's a good point. And I guess it's the, it's the differential between you getting the time as soon as you stomp on an enemy and them not getting the time until they kill that enemy as well. So that, I guess that adds up. I can see how, yeah, like, these, these matches will last a long time. <laughs> that makes sense. Most of you want to send to as many people as you can. Rotate our round for new laps and land on attackers. Uh, I think it depends. What I I mean, the Tetris 99 strat was weird because like you can you could ab abuse people on various targeting methods. Well, abuse is a strong word, but like basically make it so like if you could tell somebody's. Um, somebody's targeting you because they have their targeting set to a certain way, you can sort of bonk them out of doing that. Screw it. I'm gonna die here. I don't, I don't know these levels very well. This is a really neat way of, uh, man, what a cool, what a cool reinvention of, of Mario, though. Makes you wonder, like, I love the idea that single-player games can be made competitive, but ace, ah, fucking Mario, man. I feel like you don't always know what, what momentum he's moving at when you dedicate to your jump. Sometimes you get a slow jump like that, accidentally get a fast one when you're not looking for it. Oh boy. You're a big boy. Big boy! Oh, you can't jump up through those platforms. They go until you literally cannot kill fast enough to survive. Okay. 
your time just runs out. That makes sense. Yeah, there would, there would have to be a, a forced end state at some point. Oops. Yeah, whatever. Ah, yeah, Anthrax is kind of a neat idea. I actually really, really liked um, NES Remix uh, a lot. Oh, it's around 35 minutes. Okay, so yeah, what you said then is is 100% true. If you're good enough at Mario that you just don't hit enemies, uh, then yeah, it can go that long. Man. English pubs kick out at 10 p.m. now. Kebab shops all closed. Only good thing I watch is Quinn a gamer. Yep, yet again, quarantine's good for my bottom line. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Drunk Avenger. Yeah, the... Got a bit of a global backslide going on in regards to Corona. People, people refuse to wear masks and now we all paying the price. It kind of sucks because my, like, my head has gone to like, well shit man. Everyone that like fucking broke the rules and did whatever they wanted, they got to have a little time of not... of pretending they weren't in, in quarantine. Every asshole who, like, tried to do the right thing got dicked over because everyone else sort of absorbed the, the liberties that that bought them. And now we're all right back where we started. Motherfucker. Ain't that the way, man. Ain't that the way. I guess, what is what is the world if not enjoying enjoying benefits from other people's work that you get to you get to ignore? Super lucky where I am. No new cases for ages. That's that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Well, everything everything in the United States is on the upswing. So neat, 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 neat. Yeah, no good deed goes unpunished. That's gonna feel that way. Oh, okay. So when you kill somebody, you get all their coins. That's neat. I imagine there's there's some hot strats about. Well, that was weird. You can jump up, but not. Well, if I go this way, it's gonna scroll. Ah. I do kind of wish the music were a little, a little shooshed up. I mean, original Super Mario Brothers is pretty classic. No complaints about that, but I guess I am complaining about it. You know, we live in a society, don't we? Don't we ever? Oof. I'm just so tired of all this society. Oops. Gosh. Mario's just a damn floaty in Super Mario Bros. 1. Sick. If, um, if you do the, the question block roll, can you go directly from Small Mario to Fire Mario? Or do you, will it not give you a, a potentially give you a Fire Flower? Okay. So, okay, and then I guess I guess the goal is during the earlier phases of the game to just bank up as much time as possible so that when the when the timer starts burning down, you at least start from a higher a higher base level. If you've stacked up more time than somebody else, you're more likely to make it through that that phase of the game. What's the R on top for? Oh, that just that just iterates through uh Oh, that. Yeah, that that is the the loose algorithm that determines who you're sending your attacks to. So you basically choose who to attack by category, and then the the game sort of auto targets for you based on that based on that criteria. It's almost like uh, like setting AI rules for a JRPG or something like that. But yeah, the R just indicates that you can use the right stick to choose. That's interesting though, because it's like if you're if you're too good at banking up coins or time, then it makes you a target. So that makes sense. Very similar to 99 there a little bit. Can't be too good at the video game now. Oh boy, that's a lot of enemies. Shit! I really wanted to ride that train. No! Oh, no! Oh, oh, 
was close. Cool. Sandbag early. Yeah. I can see that being a strat, so... But if you sandbag, then people won't throw enemies at you. And then you may... Yeah, you may, you may get bagged by your own sanding. Is there, is there any kind of multiplier effect if you're being attacked by multiple people? I guess it just, the, the multiplier seems to be that if you're targeting multiple attackers, then you send all of your enemies to multiple, that was weird, send all of your enemies to multiple, uh, multiple targets. In 99, it would, uh, it would, like, basically multiply the amount of garbage you would send. That's why you set it to attackers, got it. If you're being attacked by more than one person, yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, I guess once you get really used to the flow of a level, there's not really a whole lot that's gonna stop you. I guess, unless you just make a mistake. Unlike, unlike 90, like Tetris 99 seems to push the issue a lot harder. Uh, fucking hitboxes. Oof, that was a good one. The hitbox does go a little. Oh, uh, hit the block! There, <laughs> shit. Hey. Just like the, the edge scraping in, in Super Mario Bros. is so, so funky to me sometimes. And we got cheap cheeps now? Hey, yeah, that, that, that can mess up the flow of a level pretty good. Interesting. Oh, a little, little out there. Cheap, cheap to stop the. Oop! <laughs> Shit. Beep, 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 boo, doo, 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 doo. Hmm, okay. I. Hmm. This is still along the vein of, like, multiplayer competitive games that I prefer over, like, uh, over, like, m traditional Battle Royale. It still feels like it's more active than just, like, rooting around in cabinets to find purple add-ons for your gun. Um, yeah, I'm getting the feeling a little bit. I'm starting to appreciate it. Uh, I still think I like Tetris 99 a little better, just because I like Tetris. I think the act of playing Tetris more. I also think the moment-to-moment, -moment, like, if you play Tetris at hyperspeed, that translates directly into doing better at Tetris 99. Um, I, I guess if you just just flow through levels and react on the fly to enemies, and you're like you're nailing bounces off of every Goomba and like like jump kicking Koopas all over the place, I could see how that would lead to increased performance. I guess as somebody who's who is admittedly never very good at, at Super Mario Brothers as a platformer. Um, maybe it's hard for me to see how this can, like, scrape up against a, a really high skill cap. Because Super Mario Brothers, as a platformer, kind of has a, a pretty identified skill cap. Whereas Tetris does not. Like, Tetris can scale up to the point where it's hard for human beings to even process it. Like, the human brain taps out at some point at the speed required. It's kind of like Brood War or StarCraft in that way. Um... But, uh, the having like like swarms of crazy enemies is a pretty big deal. Um, feels like that's probably what you want to save all your coins for, right? 
uh, when when there's just bonkers amounts of crazy batshit enemies flying everywhere. I I guess I need to stay alive long enough to see what that looks like. Um, I'm actually about to die. I'm about to run out of time. I gotta get moving. Come, come down, you bitch! can never grasp the the floatiness of Mario and his momentum. And, uh, another reason I was uh, never just a huge fan of the original Super Mario Brothers. Like the jump arcs were perfect, but my gosh, the acceleration and deceleration of Mario is, is a little annoying sometimes. Yeah, I don't I don't know the uh I don't know the order of the stages or how that's determined. There we go. Now yeah, we're fine for a while, maybe. Randomly from what people select before joining a game. Oh! Okay, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Super Brothers 3 in this format would be awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, Mario games... Mario games kind of, like, their max speed sort of caps out at a certain point. Right. New Super Mario Brothers, like, felt way better in terms of just, like, the mechanics and the, the momentum of the characters, and still had that, like, concept of, of stage flow. God damn it! Like, how did... How did I not land on top of that Goomba? I was in the air and somehow hit the side of him. Um, so, so maybe it's just, yeah, for me it's, like, uh, not really understanding the guts of how, how Mario platforming works sometimes. Or, or how how the engine like evaluates collisions and stuff. Sometimes sometimes Super Mario Brothers hitboxes are kind of whack. Ay. Yeah, I, I I had that one coming. That one's on. Ay, that one's on me. That that one I just slid off the edge. You need to bust out your old Nintendo powers. Yeah. Look up the like the fucking magazine spreads where it's clear they just stitch together a bunch of like photos. You can see this. Ah. Like, what the hell is that? The thing, the thing I think is really difficult to wrap your head around is Mario is not a tile game. It's not a tile-based game. It is kind of like Mario Maker. It took a while for me to understand. Oh, it's n it's not on grid. It's not on a grid. The characters are square, but they're not square. Um. I guess you you can stand on something and overhang. Which is less forgiving, Mario or Sonic? I mean, I would say Mario. Sonic has the ring mechanic. Um, it's like when you get hit in Mario, it's not like the mushroom pops out of you and you can pick it up again. They did the best they could with the tech they had in riding the engine in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, no, I, I'm not like, I'm not saying it's trash. I'm just trying to, I gotta wrap my head around it. I don't think it necessarily is like a, Something that makes visual sense. Also, did they? I guess they didn't. They didn't tweak the the platforming or collision mechanics at all for this. There's more coins in a free star that you weren't utilizing in one two. I don't think that would. I don't think that would change anything right now. It's not trash, but it's a little trash. The original Super Mario Brothers is a little funky. Um, I've always thought that, and that's why I kind of never really invested a ton of time into playing it, even when I was a kid. Um, Super Mario Brothers 3. Like, by the, by the time they got to 3, the, the platforming mechanics were way more dialed in. And then, you know, they just kept kept getting better and better. Which is why, for me, it's like, for a, for a 2D Mario game, New Super Mario Brothers... Actually, New Super Mario Brothers U was the best 2D platformer I'd played in a long time. 
I use the fire flower bladder. Yeah, fire flower better. I spent spam to kill everything. Built up like 400 seconds remaining, and I could just mess around. That's the thing. I don't want to just. I don't want a game where one of the like it has a state where you can just mess around. You can't do that in 99. I guess. I guess you could. If you're like, if you're building up a well or something like that, that could technically be messing around. Uh, messing around, but that's that's messing around with intent, you know. As opposed to just being like, oh, I can just, I can just take it easy. Ay! God damn. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was always a little annoyed at, at the platforming mechanics of the original Super Mario Brothers. I can, I can feel that. I can still feel that there. But it's still a good experiment in, uh, I think it's a really cool way to uh, to modernize older games. Really cool way to leverage a back catalog for sure. If you want to lend, you have to max your time. There's no way to survive without max time once the timer goes red. What is max time? Nine nine nine. Four hundred. Oh, okay. Is that just? I guess that's just a factor of like. Knowing how to kill things quickly. I don't know how many. Uh. Just knowing, and also like, I. So I guess if you like, if you jump, it it felt like for that last jump to the flag, it kind of felt like it felt like Mario's momentum increased. But I thought I jumped as soon as I hit the ground, which theoretically means he shouldn't have accelerated at all. There's some, I don't know. I feel like there's just some some general wackiness. I gotta I gotta wrap my head around some of that 19 what it 1983 flare. Come here, you. Mario one has some weird sticky physics. Yeah, and I I feel like you have to understand the nature of that to really enjoy this game. Could be wrong. Everything is just a bit more sluggish than you you're playing any more recent platformer. Yeah, there's that. Everything's a teensy bit more sluggish. You have just a teensy bit less air control. I mean, the fact that you have air control at all is, is pretty impressive for the era this platformer was made. And there's a reason it's it was very popular. It was wild, man. I'm thinking about it now. Like the skating rink in my hometown actually had a Super Mario Brothers cabinet, which was pretty cool and just as impossible. Oy. That was dumb. Hip. Shit. Of course I was just gonna cruise into cruise into an enemy. God damn it! Of course that wouldn't work. Why would that work? God damn it! Bleh. I should have just chilled. Should have just chilled. Didn't and died instead. Ain't that the way? Got a pipe though. Killed somebody. Floating has stuck around for a grip though. Playing through the Jack collection last year was rough pumpkins. Yeah, it's it's interesting how. I mean, it's it's the dominant verb of the game, right? It's jumping, running and jumping. That's the whole game. So every little bit about jumping matters. How long you stay in the air, the arc up, the arc down, the acceleration, the deceleration. And a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, Sophomore attempts at platformers got close, but I do think there's a sort of unspoken magic behind a really good platformer where the jumps just make sense. I feel like that's the biggest thing in a platformer is 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 making it so that people feel like their intentions, like if if they biff a jump, they know why and they can feel it of like oh, I didn't hold the button long enough, I wasn't going fast enough, like immediately knowing why. Versus for me at least in in the original Super Mario Brothers. 
feeling like I just drift into a lot of things accidentally. Um, and maybe feeling a little out of control when Mario's in the air or s sliding around the ground. Like, eh. But I know a lot of that's practice. It's just getting acquainted with the, uh, with the physics of the game. This does make me want to play Tetris 99. <laughs> I might do that in a second. Just see how, see how rusty I am. Lana's looking fun us to try something different. Yeah! I did. That is awesome. Certainly awesome for her. She's a... Uh, she's a bit of a wonder kid. I think uh, she's got a, a lot of talents. I didn't mean... I didn't mean kid to sound infantilizing. Uh, I just realized that might have sounded a little condescending in retrospect. I gotta, I gotta make her teach me how to be a DJ. Yeah, I can, I can see. I can see once you memorize the the flow of all these levels, and and especially if you start to memorize the like, um, the like the cycles. So you know exactly where platforms are going to be, you know exactly where enemies are theoretically going to be. I could see that. I could see that really, really amping up the skill cap of a game like this. Uh, right now, I'm playing this like a like a tentative parent in the 80s. You're know, like, oh, I don't... I don't, I don't want to get touched by any of these evil turtles. Yeah. Mario's heel got tagged. Oh, come on. Shit! Stop it! Troll ass boxes? Oi. It is I mean at least at least there's plenty of of garbage Mario players. Why did I go in the hole? There's a time down there! Yeah, I guess I also aren't using the coins because this is the second time I played the game. <laughs> I'm not gonna do things perfectly. I guess that was maybe more like fourth or fifth match. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be a, a pro. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I guess I'm tech I'm not really trying my best. Let's be real. I'm 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 kicking back here. I'm kicking back and making a lot of salty excuses. That's what I'm doing. Somebody somebody use that ninja command right now. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Treble Goats. This isn't a Doom run. Not yet, man. I might I might end up playing Doom today too. It's been a it's been a while, man. I haven't played in like a week. A DLC. DLC got me nice and nice and sated. I feel uh, I feel like I've had a great meal. Oh, oh, big big time, big points. But like, this is okay. So I, I can see the escalation there. Very similar to 99, yeah. If you uh, you send a ton of enemies to your to your opponents and then they send them right back, then it's just like this cycle. But that just means everyone gets a, a lot of time in the early stage of the game. Fuck you. Okay. All right then. Everything's working as intended. Brrr. I mean, also, where if you're if you're next to the flag, okay, they just go to the next stage. It's like where do all the attacks go? If uh, if they can't if they can't manifest in the in the level. Come here, turret. Oh, it's going big. Huh. Friend is attempting Ultra right Nightmare right now for the DLC. He said that he's convinced the main game was a tutorial because you were given a Crucible sword. Yeah, the, them taking away the Crucible in the DLC sucks. And also the, the fights are just harder in the DLC. Um, 
Not necessarily the Tomb Raider one, bizarrely. <laughs> that was actually the easier encounter, man. I don't, I don't want to think about like a, a spirit-possessed Baron of Hell, Ultra Nightmare. That, hey, dang it! Lord. Or Jesus Christ, that last fight on Ultra is gonna be so bad. Because that feels like a fight where you can just, you can just look the wrong way and die. Um, at least, I mean, at least the DLC is shorter. There's three levels instead of 13. Freshman year of LAR school is over. That's right, Lizzle. Congratulations. Congratulations on finishing your first year at Lawrence Academy. God, all that... Ooh! Okay, I was about to say, all those little pop-ups would make it make it very hard to see if there's a, a barrier. I guess you gotta play by sound at that point. Wait for the bonk. No! I didn't... I did not mean to do that. That was an accident. I, nope, still... Still... Mm, okay. It's, so it's little things like that. Like if you if you hit a surface and scrape on it, and you're holding right, will Mario accelerate enough to drop on a platform under it? I think the answer is no. But you gotta like that's I feel like that's the kind of expertise you have to have about the game's physics to be able to do well in a game like this. Yeah, Cyberpunk delete again. Yup. About, wait, what? Like in a situation like this, you just have to take the hit. Unless you have like, I guess, I guess that's a good reason to bank up. Uh, yeah, uh, good reason to bank up coins or sit on them for a while. Yeah. I do like the the way that they start to add in more dangerous enemy types. As the time goes on, I almost feel I almost wish that would be a player-controlled thing. Is that if if players are do oh shit, it just spawns a Bowser. Oh, that's pretty wild. Right. Fuck you! Fuck you, Mario, and your shitty jump. Fuck! God damn it! You know, I just have to take I like there. Ugh, I almost died again. Once a non-gray enemy is killed, it's added to the pool forever because it keeps bouncing around. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Okay. Then I guess it is sort of player-driven. Yeah, if you want to start adding adding creep, uh, worse enemies to the pool. Planning on streaming Cyberpunk when it comes out. Yes. Of course. Also, what are your thoughts on Star Citizen? Oh, I don't really care. Uninvested in Star Citizen. Wait, what's going on over here? Oh, wait. Can you spend coins on, like, a starting power-up? Is that the idea? What's up, Lone Axel? Hello. Oh, okay. I have no I have no opinion on Star Citizen. If people want to give it money, they can. If it ever comes out, I'll check it out. It's kind of where I'm at. Will it ever be released? Seems unlikely. Would you tell us if you were in Cyberpunk? I would, and I'm not, so... I am not saying that, because it would be untrue. Not a not a big enough influencer, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. I, th I honestly think another part of it is I, I, like, truth be told, like that, I explored that, or rather I was, I talked to the PR dude about it. I, um, ugh. Uh, he got me all distracted thinking about Cyberpunk. I, um... They, they asked me for a reel, and uh, that's like, I was already massively overworked, so it took me a few months to get a reel together, because that's shit I'd have to put together and edit on my own time. So, I think I just sent it in too late. It's possible if I put that together earlier, or just had one already, um, that maybe they could have written me in, but who knows, who can say. So, I'm not, I'm not, it would be cool, but I don't need it. 
And I, I'm certainly not going to get insistent about it, especially when, like, everyone's working really hard to make a cool game. Like, I'm happy I get to play the thing. That's a, On some level, that's enough for me. I don't... Kind of going back to, to what I was talking about with this, with the, while playing no more, no more Heroes is, like, prestige and achievement, you know? I think it'd be a feather in the cap for sure. Everybody wants to be connected to a, a big important thing like that. But whatever, man. It's... I'll still get to play it someday. I'm happy for that. I would rather uh, play the game than be in it and not play it, which I guess that wouldn't really be the circumstance, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to play it. I want to play it more than I want to be in it, if that makes sense. come down here. Big angry boys. Bleep. Oh man, should have saved that. I guess it's... Hmm. Seems like it might be smart to like, wait until... There's a lot of enemies on screen to roll, because you might get a power block and... Damn it. Oi! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna touch a Goomba and it's gonna kill me. stream Demon Souls room comes out? Absolutely. I actually want to do, uh, uh, I forwarded the idea to, uh, to Bruce and Alana to do, just straight up do it Drunk Souls, man. Throw it all the way back, where it all began. Um, but that, I don't know when I'm getting a PS5. Uh, I, I'm actually not getting one at all. Stephanie is, uh, she got a pre-order on one. So, I, I sort of was like, hey... Uh, if I can't get a pre-order, are you cool with me borrowing your PS5? And she's like, yeah. She was like, I assumed you were going to. So it's like, that's cool. At least, at least theoretically, there is a PS5 in my future. So I just don't know when it's going to show up. So that's uh, that's a thing. Bruh! <sighs> Did you watch any of that new Demon Souls video? No. What is it? Was that all about? How the fuck she get a pre-order pre on a PS5? I don't know. She just. Went to a website at the right time. It happens. Somebody has to do it, right? Oh, it's more, more gameplay? Okay. I'll have to check that out, man. That... So far, out of every game they've shown, that's the only one that makes me feel like Next Gen has anything to offer. Um, so I'm excited for that. I guess, to be fair, also, a lot of the gameplay, for some fucking reason, has been 1080p 30 FPS. I don't know what's going on at Sony. I don't know why they keep doing that shit. They just keep showing games in, like, technically the least flattering format for the system they're trying to promote you to buy. But then, like, Demon, Demon Souls finally put out that 4K trailer, and I'm like, okay, this looks like... This looks like some shit that's worth $500, finally. Um, Sony has done a lot of weird things. They continue to. Also, can you... So it seems like some, some like... Fanboys are losing their minds about the rumble triggers on the DualSense, but the Xbox One controller had that seven years ago. Is is it something else, or is it, is it just like Sony fandom? Is it like is it like the Apple dynamic of like I had no idea this existed? I'm I'm getting very confused by that. People being like, oh, haptic, yeah, haptic feedback. H, yeah, they're calling it HD rumble now, but haptic. I mean, what the. What does that mean? The Xbox One controller had rumble triggers forever ago. It was awesome in, in motorsport. It was really, really good. No one ever used it, though. And I expect it'll be the same with the PS5. Like, Sony first-party games will lean into it real hard. No one else will. Kind of like HD rumble with the Switch. There's, like, teensy little, teensy little nicety features that just don't, like, 
developers end up not using because no one thinks about them. It's actual haptic, so harder to pull the trigger depending on the application. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. Got it. I did not understand that. Vibrates on other parts of the controller's different intensities, not just in the triggers. Probably only Sony, Sony will use it, but it sounds neat. That does sound neat, but yeah. That does sound like a kind of first-party feature that first-party games will lean into, and everyone else will just have the same sort of haptic deployment across across the uh, multi-platform games. Big ups to the touchpad, or as developers call it, Big Select, yeah. Yeah, man. Or like the touchpad on the back of the Vita. Which was which was very fun to try to find hidden levels and wipe out, but that was about it. Oh yeah, the speakers on the PS4, the LED bar, all these things that just didn't do anything. I mean, you can't fault somebody for experimenting. That's the that's the core of it. I'd rather see new ideas explored than just being like we've we've nailed it. The controller is perfect. Okay, that makes me a little more excited. I'm excited to, to check that out now. And it's like, it's USB-C, right? Finally. Does it, has anyone uh, listed the, was it the milla, the milla ampere hour rating of the battery inside the controller? Because I swear to fucking God, if it's another like five hour charge, I'm gonna... Give me a bigger battery, please. It can be four ounces heavier, I don't care. Actually, I do care a little bit, a little bit. Oh, Tearaway? Ah, I got it. 560? Or 15? Okay. Is that as much as a... Is that the same capacity as a... Quad Shock or whatever the fuck? Hey, Clippy. Thank you for the five subs, man. Thank you very much. Also, yeah, I... Um... I'm not gonna dox you on stream, but I'm, I'm still very confused. I tried to send you uh, your card, and yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I double-checked the address, so I don't know what's going on. I can try again. Uh, I just can try to put a fake name down, but I usually, uh, yeah, when I send mail to people, I usually use their internet names, and it always it never is a problem, so. Unless you're in a complex that, like, requires matching names or something. I don't know, I've, I've definitely been on the internal batteries are, are, are stupid train for a while now, but people like them, so whatever. I, my favorite is always the simple, like, just merely plug it in every single time you're not using it. Simple. I don't want a cord, man. Also, when I stop, when I stop gaming, I just want to plop the controller down and move on with my day. I guess it's not really that much of an annoyance, but... Also, like, plugging in micro-USB cables kind of sucks. It just doesn't feel very good. USB-C is way better. Um, but, like, I don't know, micro-USB, it always feels like I'm gonna break it. Because I often do, I guess. And also, micro-USB cords are usually just shitty and bad. USB-C seems a lot more reliable in terms of both the, like, mechanics of the plug and then also the... Reliability and dependency of the... Yeah, because it will break, yeah. Gonna log out into the real world? Alright, Nitro Man. Be safe out there. May the may the gamer gods protect you. And your, your bold ventures under the Daystar. I'm here for the micro-USB hate. All my homies hate micro-USB. It's a dated standard, you know? I feel like... Like we've been over the over this for a while, but just waiting for everybody to get on board. Luckily, all the next gen controllers will. Man, it's some stuff like that makes me realize truly just how long this generation has been. I had to wait so long for a, a decent refresh of hardware. Oh boy, we got Lakitu now. Oi! Why would I land on that platform? Yeah. 
little slow bro action there. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the the pace of this game's ramp up is pretty slow, huh? Hmm. Pretty slow. It takes like it's, it feels like it takes a long time to start getting newer, more challenging enemies into the pool. I guess once you start it, yeah. Once once you start picking to start on higher levels, it would probably ramp up way faster. Last gym was just as long, seven, eight years. What, PS3? 360? Was it? 2006 to 2013? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I guess I guess generations are just longer now. That makes sense. Games are games are take longer to make, they're getting more expensive to make. Um, it is massively disruptive to uh, switch hardware platforms and, and controllers and APIs and all that stuff, so. With the ballooning cost, uh, with the ballooning cost of game dev, it makes sense that uh, generations would just naturally get longer. I'm just really, uh, I'm just so excited for like, please, 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 God, let 60 FPS be the default. I would, I would be willing to entertain the concept of playing on a console again. If at least 60 FPS was the default experience. I just cannot hang playing less than 60. And with anything now. Or like, it blows my mind that some games don't even give you the option. Like there's, thank god there's more and more console games that are like, giving you the, the image quality or, or frame rate choice. But, man. I feel like in, unless you're making, like, Detroit become human or whatever, unless you're making an actual movie game, really, 60 should really be the, the standard. Most game shit I ever heard, yeah. That's, that's, how, we, that's how we do it here at Texas. Big Big gamer thoughts, big gamer energy. We are, we are cultured here. I guess that's the sort of snobbery that leads to stuff like PC Master Race as a, as a term. Yeah, let's, let's get a little Koopa action in here. I'm definitely gonna keep my Fire Flower through this entire level. Ah! Raccoon ever come back to eat more of the hammock? Not that I've seen, no. Can't wait to play all these new games on the new Xbox at 60 FPS. My OG Xbox can't handle these games anymore. Yeah. It's, uh... I did keep the Fire Flower. That's a good point. I haven't checked out Ghost Runner yet. No. Oh, Scruffy Fern. Thanks for the sub. Atmosu, thanks for the sub. Go. Look at him run. Console gens have gotten longer as design has gotten a little bit less fragmented in terms of target visuals, at least the AAA level. In the past, Gen didn't have a ton of games that really felt like they super stood out in that realistic AAA humans look. A few here and there. Um, hmm. Less change, longer generations until new breakthroughs? A little bit. I think it's it's also like... I think that has to do with the, the tool sets um, getting a little more formalized too. Like everything being on Unreal. <laughs> Um, kind of standardizes the technology that everyone's working with. So if everyone has the same tools, kind of starts to make sense that some of the output would conform a little bit too. I think also, uh, the engine of, like, focus testing games has, has sort of gotten very refined. Um, this is something I could probably do without, but, like, the, the Ubisoft mill of, of open world games is also kind of lends to some more, like, technical and creative conformity. You know, it's it's the same process that happens in, in any uh, capitalist, capitalist art. 
is that if something costs more to make, people are gonna be damn sure it's gonna earn its money back before they even say yes and sign the checks. Only makes sense. Blinks 4K? Yeah. That's the real shit right there. That's what we need. When we needed him most, Blinks disappeared. God damn it. Just little things like that that you think would work. Just holding right. I'm just gonna bounce off these Goombas and land on this other Goomba. And instead, you just scrape his side and you die and you feel stupid. Blinks. Blinks the Time Sweeper. Everyone's favorite OG Xbox mascot. Everyone's favorite. America's favorite cat. Time traveling cat. God damn. Ooh, I got very lucky there. He's got a vacuum. Because he's a Time Sweeper. Let's get that Voodoo Vince action. Stubs the zombie. 8K. Favorite obscure Xbox game. I don't really have many. I. I was not a huge fan of the Xbox, the original Xbox's catalog. Mm, I guess Steel Battalion might, might be it. I appreciated the hubris of that game. It was also big. And it was fun to like flip all those chonkity switches. And it was brutally hard, man. That game was basically a roguelike. There's no way in hell. I don't... I'm sure there are people who just naturally beat that game. I was not one of them. Did you ever play Jet Set Ready Future? I actually did not. So that's part of it. Is, uh... Didn't play... Uh, I guess to some degree Shenmue 2 is technically an Xbox game. Uh, I imported it for Dreamcast because... That's just how hard I ball. Damn it! Okay, so... I guess there's a frame between throwing a fireball and the fireball actually colliding with what's in front of you. I mean, I loved... I loved Jet Set Radio. Excuse me, Jet Grind Radio. Um, so... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I had... I bought an Xbox at some point to play Ninja Gaiden Black. And I think I tried out Jet Set Radio Future, but it just didn't really click with me right away for some reason? I don't know. Yeah, ever heard of Halo? I, don't know, I wasn't I wasn't the biggest fan of Halo. Um That's more PC snobbery coming in, I think. Come on. Eh. Oh whatever. And I know that like X OG Xbox is where a lot of people probably played Morrowind for the first time, but you know, I had played that years before. So, Ninja Gaiden Black was really good. Uh, yeah, I was. I'm a, I'm a fan of aiming. Otogi, yeah, that one was pretty fun. A little weird. That was a from software game, right? God! Ah, oh, man. Maybe one of these days I just need to, like, bank up some time and just sit. Just sit for a while and see what happens. I want to see this red time. Oh, it, somebody said it takes 35 minutes? Trey said it took 35 minutes. I don't know that I want to just chill out for 35 minutes. Gotten at games like Civilization, Age of Empires, or SimCity? Yeah, big time. In the past, yeah. Uh, those games are... I, I tend to stay away from them these days because they're huge time sucks, and I like the completeness of finishing a game. I mean, finishing a campaign in Civ feels good, but it doesn't really feel like you beat the game, you know? And I know that that's a, that's a pretty vestigial thing to rely upon, the game telling me that I'm done. Especially, man, nowadays, games just don't do that anymore. Is a bit sad sometimes. What does my shirt say? What do you think it says? It says fun. 
Who doesn't like having fun? <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta save the, gotta save all that time to, to slowly tiptoe through the Witcher, and then die in Doom Eternal for the 18 millionth time. That's, that's called good time management right there. Oh! I'm shocked that that didn't kill me. Shocked! Doing one side quest every Witcher's th three stream has been a long con, yeah. One and only one! How else am I gonna take my extended breaks where I, I rant about politics and fucking economic systems and shit I don't know anything about? That's my brand! My brand! Get into that guy, please. Yeah, just imagine how long it's gonna take me to play. Wow, how did that not kill me? Ah! Just imagine how long it's gonna take me to play through Cyberpunk. I'm getting very lucky breaks here. I have to appreciate that while they're happening. Started playing Master Chief Collection on Legendary for the first time and beat Reach, but man, playing Legendary makes you realize how awful Halo CE is these years later. Yeah... Yeah... I mean, it's, it's not a bad game, but... To think very highly of it, it kind of requires not knowing about a lot of the other things going on in shooters at the time, which is okay. I don't know, I've, I've, I've done my Halo rants. They're, they're never very popular. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the unexpected, uncommon, and unheard of thing and actually keep my mouth shut for once. Nah, come on. What is content creation if not somebody endlessly rambling about shit they have no no clue about? That's content, baby. Nah. nah. It's popular to dunk on Halo? Really? We made it? Yeah, I've noticed that like a lot of the popular games in the past that aren't very good... Uh, are, are it, like, people are finally coming around and being like, wow, these are not very good. Like, Skyrim, I guess, is, is now, like, people are going back and being like, oh, this wasn't very good. I think Fallout 3, some, some people are starting to be like, oh, this game isn't, isn't very good. Um, it's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I always wondered if, you know, if people, if enough time went by, and people played enough games, got that, like, bank of experience, if they would start to realize that these games are not super great. They're just, they just hit certain, like, certain beats at a certain point in time. I think that's, that's Fallout 3. It's like, very light RPG, very fluff, like, action RPG mechanics, god damn it. Um, it made people, made people enjoy it. Because it just kind of served up everything and didn't, didn't really ask for much from you. I think there's a whole rash of games like that that were very, very popular because they were, they were like easy rides and uh, gave an illusion of accomplishment. It's like Fallout 3 and Skyrim. I, you can, man. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you those. You're not allowed to. Welcome back, Steph. Hi. Oh, did I get a ah? ah did I get a box? Cool. Oh, no, wait, I think that's that's the USB hub for your desk. Yeah, very exciting. You're welcome to your wrong opinion. I am, it's true. I don't know. If it's not here, then no. I'm not looking at that. I may. But Fallout 3 when I first played it came with Fallout came with Fallout 4 on Xbox, loved it at first, but then I played New Vegas and went back to Fallout 3 and found it miserable. Yeah, I mean it, For me it was it was going from Fallout 2, which is an, just an absolutely incredible RPG, and then into 3, which is like, well it's first person. It's got that. 
I think, I think to some degree too, especially in the Gen 7 era, uh, games told you they were good more than they were good. So yeah, with 3, that like, we hired professional actors and we have this whole pretentious intro where you're a baby and you grow up and then... Oh! <laughs> this is good. This is good game. It's art, as you can see. Then again, Bethesda... Bethesda Softworks, I guess, has a, has a legacy of... Uh, Dropping checks on on actors. Yeah, whatever. Oh, gee, Fall Games didn't age well at all. Really? Maybe I should go back and play them then. Um, because yeah, I, I haven't really played them since the first time. Where I I found them to be incredible, incredible games. The first the first ones were like character build really did matter um, not only in combat but also just in terms of the flow of the flow of the story and the engagements that you had the encounters you had um, I think a lot of a lot of what makes fallout one to a lesser extent but especially two so special is that it actually is an RPG um, in the way that it sounds like cyberpunk is claiming to be you know uh, not a, not a, like, oh, there's 18 million different endings, but it's really just, like, mix and match of, of like, different outcomes of individual places, but maybe a more connected storyline and different experience that way. Fallout 2 was that way. Had a lot of interconnectedness between NPCs, and certain things would turn out certain ways based on what you've done in other areas. Can't get through all of Fallout 2. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not... It's, it's for a particular mindset, for sure. And Fallout 2 is even a little more stratified and, and easy, easy to approach than Fallout 1. Fallout 1 is chonkity. I went through Wasteland 3, felt like they went way too casual on decision consequences. That's a bummer. Because, yeah, Wasteland is ostensibly carrying that torch now. Or maybe games like, uh... Uh, Divinity, Original Sin, Larian seems to be deep into that... Into that, that track. Making deep core RPGs. With consequential decisions. But yeah, it's games like that, games like Mass Effect, the, the Gen 7 quote-unquote RPGs that actually weren't RPGs at all. Oh, Disco? Yeah, Disco Elysium for sure. 100% is that kind of game. Yeah, I gotta get back on Disco, man. Baldur's Gate 3 is just 5e D&D. &D. I mean, yeah, the, the older Baldur's Gates were uh, were just D&D &D rules, too. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, Baldur's Gate is a Dungeons & Dragons property, right? Wasn't 5e? Eh? Baldur's Gate 3 is not 5e? Yeah, shooters with, with, cus with like, character animation, yeah. Shooters with a character creator is essentially what, what they're dealing with. Which, hey, that's what people want. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing to want that. I just, to me, the where it kind of gets weird is, is to, to create the facade of a certain gameplay system without the actual inclusion of it. Um... Big thing that I, I took took issue argh, took issue with Mass Effect for that lied to you over and over or tried to tried to like tried to do it but definitely had to cut all corners and like you can't really cut corners with that kind of thing they had to though the development timeline they're on there's no way to like to fully make that game I liked Genshin Impact uh I need to I need to draw some more anime girls. Consider Dragon Age Origins a good RPG? I do, yeah. Um, not not maybe so much because of the consequences of that. More the, like... Nah, the story, the story decisions have weight. Um, the big thing for me with Origins is that the RPG combat system is, is hugely important. Super developed. Like, you have to... You have to learn your character's skills, and you have to use them at the right time and in the right way. You have to position your your team right in the battlefield. Like, every every encounter in that game is almost like a puzzle, uh, where you have to learn and, and use the mechanics. Um, almost like Doom Eternal vibes in a weird way. Yeah, great noise, right? The mechanics are there, the dice rolls are just hidden. I mean, that's... 
You can, I mean, there's a combat log in, in Dragon Age, right? Uh, where you can see all the dice rolls if you if you want to. I thought. Mechanically, I feel like Origins was fantasy KOTOR and I loved every minute of it. Yeah. I mean, KOTOR is fantasy KOTOR. I guess, I guess there are guns. That would have to be a pal blocker. There's no way I could get up there. Final 10. Ooh, I did it. I won. Except now it's like good players. kind of nice, though. It's pretty visible that there's a spiny under there. Oh, Lakitu kind of gets shafted on this level, huh? Oh, yeah. Is there, is there more footage out for Final Fantasy 16? Yeah. That's right. You can do it. That's hot. Uh, well, not anymore. What about Jade Empire? Ugh. Jade Empire was the first game I played where I was like, this is not good. This writing is bad, and I don't like it. <laughs> to me, Jade Empire was the first game they made. Like, Jade Empire to me felt like they were writing to a formula for the first time. Bioware, that is. I remember... I've, I've, I've complained about this before, I think, so I apologize for the repetition, but... It's like, you, you meet your, like, first party member or whatever... And the game straight up says, ooh, he seems like he might have a mysterious past. And when they said that, literally, I was like, what the hell is this? And, like, the combat system was pretty much just mash buttons and win. Jade Empire, to me, was the first sort of Gen 7 RPG, where I'm like, this is not an RPG. Uh, you're just telling me that it is, and you're lying. People have had really fond memories of Jade Empire, though, because, again, I think it was, like, it was approachable. It had the illusion of being an RPG. Keep saying Gen 7. Oh, sorry. Generation 7 of consoles. So PS3, Xbox 360. Um, yeah, I apologize. That, that's a pretty, pretty deep jargon term there. I feel also the need to, to apologize a bit. I have, some, I have some spicy gamer takes sometimes. Don't, uh, don't let me talk you- don't let me talk you out of games you enjoy. I can be a little pretentious about it. I think it kind of comes with the territory of just playing so many games. Uh, uh. Fuck! Did I do it? Did I make it to- Ah! Shit. Well, the timer's not red. Miss a mushroom block, one, two every time by one block. Meh. Life goes on. I'm not, I'm not super invested. I guess I am top three though, that's kind of cool. Watch, watch me, watch me blow it all, somehow. Of, that's a lot of mans that just got fired over here. Just hang out, yeah. I guess I have I got a lot of time. As long as these guys Will Lakitu ever drop spinies directly on your head? Or is it always just is it always like around you? Nope. Nope! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Somebody said no. That doesn't seem right to me! This might be it for a Lawrence. Oh, that's too many enemies. 
least the Lakitu's going. Fuck. No! Hold on a minute. Damn it! Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. I can I can work the angles here. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, slowing down. There's gonna be a ton of enemies coming up. Uh, 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 Mario, you bitch! Hey. There. Spinies. Can't do shit. Oh, come on! Mario! Get your shit together, Mario. You couldn't have gotten just one little pixel more? You gotta give up like that? Ah, oh, shit. Get up! Alright. Alrighty. Yay. I don't know. I don't know. That, uh, it just takes too long to ramp up. It takes too long. Uh, it's got, it's got, it's got the, it's got the juice, though. Favorite Paper Mario? Eh, probably Thousand Year Door. I really did like Origami King, though. Um, and Color Splash was pretty good. I didn't finish Color Splash. Go. It's Tetris now we're gaming. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm probably rusty as heck. What Tetris game is coming to Game Pass? That might be Tetris Effect? Yeah. If you were to name a third Mario, bro, what would you... Hmm, what would I name him? Hold on a minute. Uh, should I try for the T-spin? Nah, that's too fancy. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I already fucked it up. I fucked it up. It's not in the right spot. I think? Yeah, I fucked it up. It should be over. Those angry, angry Tetris boys are mad at me already. on that. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get the old get the old juices flowing again. Remember all my strats. Oh boy. So some angry boys. I got a lot of, I got an ass load of trash on, on me already. good at this game. <laughs> Christ almighty, leave me alone. All I've been doing is clearing trash this whole time. <sighs> it's not good for business. Get any KOs this way. Ah,
her. Jeez. Oh, lordy, they're coming for me. Shit. Shit. Uh... Wrong one. There we go. Gonna go well, yep. Damn, man. There are people on my ass right away. Play again. Oh, T spin is short for meat spin. It's a physics term. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you want to learn, if you want to learn all about that, you can just Google it. What dictates what lines come over? Um, people targeting you and then clearing lines themselves there there is like a there is a sort of mechanic um like a single line clear doesn't do anything a double does one a triple does two a tetris does four but there are like combo mechanics to it uh like i had said that make it so like it's the relative clearing you do matters it's there are guides out there that kind of spell out the scoring mechanics of Tetris 99 that might be a little more efficient than I am, would be at spelling it all out. Which is, a, I guess, a polite way of saying Google, Google hit. I, uh, I don't want to do this. I don't like this piece here. You. There. Um, also, like, back-to-back -back Tetrises are worth more. So there's, there's, there's dynamics to it that uh, change the way you would play. Like, it's it's not as simple as just clear all the lines as fast as you can. There's a little more context to it. Especially when people are throwing junk at you. Mm. Mm. You also get a multiplier if multiple people are attacking you. Which is sort of an auto-balance mechanic. If, if people are ganging up on you, you and you can actually clear some lines, you'll send more garbage back at them. So I'm doing six now just by doing doubles and getting a seven out of a single because, oops, so many people are ganging up on me, uh, which is a technique. You can kind of, you can sort of set yourself up. Um, good Tetris 99 players, one's better than me, will intentionally stack to the top of the well right at the beginning to make themselves a target so that they can get a huge attack uh, multiplier, KO a lot of people way at the beginning and then have more badges, which is another mechanic. Uh, that also affects how much uh, garbage you send around. Got one. Two. Aye. Hey, uh... Yeah, let's wait for this. There we go. But yeah, it's the, it's the number that pops out when you clear lines. That's the number of garbage lines you're sending to someone else. Uh, and it's the same sort of targeting system as, as Mario 35. You can target people who are close to dying. You can target people that are targeting you. You can target random people. You can target people with the most badges, which I guess is similar to coins.
Uh, the, I guess the related mechanic is that this there's this well on the side, this thing that fills up with garbage blocks. Um, if you have garbage blocks in your queue, any land clears you do will go to eliminate garbage first. So you don't you can't attack uh, anyone else if you have junk waiting for you to clear out. So it is there is a, a bit of a dynamic too of having to clear out your own queue fast so that you can go back to trying to knock out other people. Cool. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Crap, man. Ugh. Fuck. Ugh. Oh boy, this is this is bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Yeah, I can't see any way out of this one. Yep. Mm. Yay. Uh, here, let me change themes. I wonder if I have any tickets to buy another theme. Oh yeah, might as well update. I'm not gonna play this for super long. I just got the hankering. Yeah, I still think it just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just prefer the, the, the second to second mechanics of, um, of Tetris more than the original Super Mario Brothers. Oh, I don't have no tickets. Yeah, that's a good compromise, right? Oh, we'll go, we'll go deep nostalgia. If you could play in a game for the first time again, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Probably Undertale. It'd probably be Undertale. Bit of a bit of a wiener game, I guess. Kind of a kind of a blue hair uh, millennial game, but the first playthrough of that was really magical, especially since I really had no idea anything about it. None of the mechanics, story, music, didn't know a thing. I just kind of impulsively bought it on Steam and played through it, and it was awesome. Um, apart from that, Lost Odyssey, um, which I'm definitely, I'm going to do a playthrough of that once the Series X embargo's up. I'm really curious. Oh, Disco Elysium. Yeah, I haven't even played through that once yet because I'm an asshole, so I need to do that. <laughs> Playing Tetris. Bakasugoi, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Damn it. Oi. Oh dear. So like in situations like that, I feel like my game could stand to improve significantly by by knowing how to like not give up the Tetris early. Uh just to avoid introducing gaps. Like the gap that you can introduce and then immediately clear by looking forward to the next couple of pieces, like identifying those quick clear situations. And maintaining the uh, the Tetris that I'm working towards, I think, would help me a lot in, in games like this. Or in Tetris 99 specifically. Why did I switch? So this is another situation where, like, kind of need to put the box in a space where I can, I know I can clear it quickly. But, uh, kind of coming up bingo on that one. Wait here, I'm going to bank this so I can get it back to back. Because uh, I see another stick in the queue here. Dang. Oh, it won't be a back-to-back. -back. It'll be a triple, but... Oh, that's alright, though. That works out. I'll take it. That one part of the song... That one part of the song sounds a little bit like Ska. I'll, I'll call it out next time. Okay, here it is. Hup, 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 hup. 
it's just the like it switches to being on the, the upbeat instead of the downbeat for a little bit. And basically anytime I think about Ska I get happy, so. It's always always a good idea. Always a good choice. Oh, yeah. Always the right call. Ska for good times. Lucky shit. Woo. See, I, yeah. Like, there's sometimes you get freebies like that, where you can just cram it in a little hole and it clears itself. I gotta learn to identify those again too. Ah, I gave myself two setups. Oh, I need sticks to dig my way out. Stupid. Come and get it, boys. No. Woo. Shit. Bad idea. didn't actually want them to come and get it. I was hoping more people would target me. That would make it really easy to, to downstack. Operation Ivy confirmed Spets, Spetsnaz Sigint operation. Yeah, Op Ivy created a lot of Russian sleeper agents. Castlevania streamline. Probably no Castlevania, but I need to... I want to pick up Bloodstained again. That game rules. How do you target someone? Is it random? It's the same targeting rules as, as Mario 35, so you, you set your targeting to a particular category and then the game will auto-target based on that category. Russian folk music is the original ska. Hell yeah it is. Hell yeah it is. All right, let me see if I can, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here comes, here comes a big old, big ass T-spin. Here it comes. I already fucked it up. No, well I didn't, I just missed an opportunity. I can do it this way? Yes. Thank you. God damn it. That's the wrong one! There it is. Oh, baby, here it comes. Here it comes. Shaboosh! Shaboosh! Yeah, if I were faster at doing that, it'd be a much more reliable strategy. I can usually set up one at the beginning, but like by the, by the, by the point where I'm getting garbage thrown at me, I'm just like, ah! Solving the problem right in front of my nose versus playing three or four moves ahead. Anyway, I'm I'm pretty much a master at Tetris, as you can tell. Pretty much the world's best, pretty much. I'll be taking my check now, thank you very much. guy in there like that. I don't think you can. You definitely cannot. Great. There are rules. There are rules about what you're allowed to do. Oops! Great. Official Tetris rules. Got him. Perfect. Oops. Fuck, man. I'm getting jittery on the buttons. I'm bouncing my leg and that, like makes the controller nudge up sometimes because my hand's resting on my thigh and then it like rocks the controller into my thumb which makes me like hit up on the d-pad sometimes it's a nervous tick also i've had coffee and i feel like i feel like i can take on the world what tragedy that coffee exists and i'm not for some reason not allowed to drink it non-stop i mean i guess nothing's stopping me i just have to uh Gotta endure the consequences like a grown-up. That's bullshit, man. Consequences consequences blow. <laughs> Can I get a hell yeah in chat? 
for suffering the conse- for, for hating suffering the consequences of your own actions. That's some bullshit, am I right? Fuck it. Who's, who decided that was a good idea? Why should I have a hangover if I decide to binge drink on a random Friday or a random Thursday? Bullshit. What is that? What asshole? Who, who put that asshole in charge? You know? Fuck it. I didn't vote for that. Get out of here. Bullshit. I shouldn't have to endure this. This is horse shit. But I, last I checked, America was free. No, I can't eat fast food for every meal because I'll get fat and die of a heart attack. Fuck you. Fuck you. How about I just choose to not? How about that? Nah. Got him. Got him. Can you believe? Look at all these suckers out here getting... Getting diabetes and shit. I just choose to not do it. I just choose to not... No. Why should I? Fuck him. You know? What'd they ever do for me? Huh? Nothing. Just tell me what I can't do. The man's in my face. You gotta... You gotta wear shoes here, sir. Blech. No, you're not allowed to... Scream at random people on the Venice boardwalk. Fuck you! I have ideas, and they're good ones. This is why I gotta... I gotta be world's best at Tetris. So that people won't hassle me anymore. I get, I get so good at Tetris, people just let me... Let me live life the way I, I deserve to. Con consequence free. Fuck me! Yeah, Tetris is the psych psychologist couch for me. Yeah. Tetris is satisfying to watch. Like, there's just something about it. It's uh it's it's just way more and way more pleasant to the mind, I think, than I mean, so there there is like endorphins that fire when you like kick a shell in Mario and knock off like 80 enemies. It's really good. Um but there's something about Tetris, man. Just seeing the blocks go where they need to go. It's so good. <laughs> Did hair no bell? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was America. God, Stan Marsh is such a great character. Oh, man. Yeah, Tetris is great. I find myself just drawn to... I feel like, I feel like, like, this and Doom Eternal are just very good stream games. That, uh, just because they're, they're, have pleasing lights and sounds. Call of Duty is astronomically good for that as well. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? No reason to do that. The setup was right there and I swapped anyway to the exact piece that I needed to bank. Stupid. Dumb. Mm, now we got a different problem on our hands. How am I going to set up the double? Oh dear. Oh no. Mm. 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 This is awkward. Derp. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it now. I also I, I use the T. Fucking Christ. Whatever. Damn it. Oh boy. I'm really in it now, huh? in the wrong spot. Oh, okay. That's that's the way the tetrad crumbles sometimes. Yeah, that's that that's a cheeky little move I could I, I need to have in my toolbox a little more often. Dropping L pieces into a well. Oh right, that's right. The other strat that I completely forgot. The well is supposed to be two wide, not one, because it's way easier to set up uh, multi-drop combos that way, and more pieces are more useful. 
can get more line clears with more pieces if the well is too wide instead of one. Well, everybody coming for it now. Everybody want a piece of this, this juicy boy right here. Yeah. I love it when they gang up on me like this. I mean, in the right context. Don't clip that. Ah, man. Uh. Dang it, they're already off. They're already off me. I only got a few KOs out of it. Shucks. Meh. Meh. How do you know the exact piece I don't want you to give me? And end up giving me exactly that thing. The amazing prescience of Tetris block generation. All right, now, oh, oh, now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. This is this is it really happening right here. So yeah, you can do shit like that. You can do shit like this, and then like it gives you the liberty to kind of pick and choose when you kind of execute your combo and clear your well. Yeah. Whoa. Hey now, hey now. Ah! Uh, I think that was a dropped input. I don't know. I don't know whose fault it was. Definitely not mine. Definitely not mine. Fucking hell. God damn it. Fuck, man. That guy was a killer. Yeah, fiddle sticks. Waiting for the mobile repair guy to come and I'm itching to play this. Do you not have a, a switch around? Catch O, well, thank you for the Prime sub. Is that like, is that like the Game Center Catch O combined with O oh, Damn it, I'm out of water. Mm. Yeah, SJW's running Tetris again. Got a giant pimple on my forehead. Uh, it's like one of those really like, it's like under pressure, one of those really painful ones. It's like under the skin. It's like deep. You said you could move into my face. Fuck. I hate those when they're like on the corner of your nose. So every time your face moves, it like agitates it and you can just feel it all the time. Or when they're like on your elbow. So every time you put your arm on an armrest, it's like, eesh. Some things like that, if you if, a, if you see a stick is coming up, instead of one Tetris, you can kind of lead a combo into the Tetris, which makes the Tetris more valuable, makes it do more damage. Uh, I got I got pretty lucky on that one, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't set up that front to back, but I started to start coming a little bit. that guy. 
sometimes if you have KO selected, and a lot of other people do, it leads to a lot of people targeting the same person, which gives them an attack buff. Uh, so sometimes if you're targeting a KO person, they start sending over huge, huge waves of uh, trash your way. Pretty indicative that they have a, a pretty big gangbang going on. Probably wise to not stay in that scenario. Okay, it's still happening. I guess I'm getting targeted now. I don't know, I don't know what kicked that off. Gosh, why did I do that? I mean, that wasn't my fault. That was somebody else's fault. Cheating game. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Transmission's getting a little, a little fucky. for another... have any badges, this is not gonna go well. Let's look at a really lucky KO. pieces right now. I just don't know what to do with any of these. I can guarantee you whatever I was supposed to do, what I did was the wrong thing. Oh no.
about this one. Just didn't have the badges. Oof. What's up, Resonator? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Man, Tetris is fun. Can you play to the beat of the Tetris theme? Oh, you mean like rhythmically in game? Top ten is commandable. Thank you. Oh, what did the badges do? They they multiply. Okay, so. There's basically all these factors that go into the damage number that you do. Um, badges are provide a percentage buff on that. So if you have one badge, it's 25% more. Two badges is 50% more. Three badges is 75% more. Four badges is double damage. Um, that works for defense too. So if you have like, if you have like 10 blocks in your queue, having more badges means that you can clear that faster and also send more garbage to other players. Um, KOing a player is, is like one point, and I think it's like four points for a badge. However, when you KO a player, you get all their badges. So if you KO a high-ranked player, you instantly assume all their badges. It's, it's the mechanic, it's the escalation mechanic that makes sure that the game ends eventually. It's not just an endless cycle of people playing Tetris. How do you get badges? KOing players. You have to, uh, you have to KO other players. If you KO a player with no badges, you get like the one point they have. Um, but yeah, if you KO a player with multiple badges, you get them all. I have played Luminous, yeah. I really, really like it. Um, I think I like Tetris Effect better than Luminous when it comes to, like, uh, quantized to backbeat block dropping games. Uh, time for another bathroom break. I'm gonna play a couple more rounds. I'll be right back. See you guys soon. You can... Ah, are there lore questions? No, Raiden didn't kill Liu Kang. Um, that was from Deadly Alliance. Uh... Quan Chi and Shang Tsung teamed up. And in the opening cutscene, they like stuck up on Liu Kang and snapped his neck. And then he was cannon dead. Very weird. Tito Sparks, thanks for the thanks for the prime sub. How many Tetris, Tetris 99 wins you got? Uh, like five or six? Not that many. I haven't really been playing uh, playing with a mission, to be honest. Zombie Liu Kang sucks ass. Yeah. He wasn't as fun as Liu Kang himself, because he didn't really fight like Liu Kang anymore. He just had, like, chains on his wrists that he would spin around. Doesn't he show up both as a zombie and his living self in Eleven? And is that the case? So in... 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 in fucking... in new Mortal Kombat canon, they have the Revenant issue, where, like, enemies get possessed by some dark magic or some shit. And that's how they turn evil kind of like the rage thing in uh, DC versus MK. You're just you're just gonna you're just gonna be an asshole, huh? P pieces. You're just gonna be just gonna be a dick like that. Some sometimes I'm amazed at like there can it seems so simple, but man, there are just combos that will wipe your ass in this game. Maybe there maybe there are hidden solutions or places to put blocks that just don't occur to me, but man. Mang. Sucks sometimes to not have any options. I guess that's also a factor of, like, putting down pieces to create those scenarios. Oh, yeah, so time has gotten away from me, as it usually does. Uh, I, I'm only gonna play a couple more matches, then I gotta close the old stream down. Got a bit of an engagement this evening. I will be moving along too. Don't know why I did that. Good thing to do.
good. Sick. Really didn't deserve a KO, but I'll take it. So I have like a teensy little star. I guess the badge has changed too, but it's not a full star yet. And then at the below the star, you can kind of see it says zero percent up. Um, if I finish a badge, oh shit! If I finish a badge, fuck man. Another one of those situations where I just have trash pieces that I don't know what to do with. Ugh. Trash pieces, stop! Oh, Christ. Ugh. It's gonna cover up the hole again. Like, there's nowhere else to put it. Stop! Covering it up again, because there's nowhere else to put it. Covering it up again, because there's nowhere else to put it. Ugh. Like, that's that's what sucks. Is you just get in those scenarios where there's only one place to put the block and it's completely not where it needs to go. It just puts you, sets you further back. Ugh. Oh, spider grape? Thanks for complimenting my blocks. Hey, Panda Vibes. Favorite game in the most recent GBA roulette? Uh, I was I was pretty surprised by um, Splinter Cell. Uh, Dynasty Warriors was fun. Yeah, but it, the the real answer is Shrek Racing. That I I did like the the like pre rendered backgrounds in that Yu Gi Oh game. That was pretty cool. Space Channel Five, yeah, was an interesting port. Another T block coming up, so I'll just. Ah, 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 ah! How is it always the perfect wrong piece? God damn! Ah, there. Nope, still not. I still need to fill in that gap. I can't. Ah, God. There. Fucking Christ. Brr. So dumb. Whatever. It was worth it. It was fucking worth it. I'm gonna play like a psychopath. I got my T-spin. I got it. It's all that matters. Fuck. Give me a piece that I can clear lines with. You have to. Stop it. Christ. This will not stand. This indignity. This insult. Hey. Hey. For real? Nothing, nothing but pain. That's all this is. It's all pain. Fuck it, man. Blah. Oh, what is what is GBA Roulette? I just I've done it a couple of times. I just downloaded a mega pack of Game Boy Advance ROMs. I wrote a script to draw four of them at random, and then I send that to a vote on Twitch, and then people in chat. Oh, there it is. I got to turn that command off, but that works. <laughs> That works for me. I remember I got too deep into Tetris when I was learning opening moves made me realize it was getting too nerdy for me. Nah, man. That's just that's just really digging in and like chomping on the meat of a game, man. That's I'm not too nerdy. I'm not too nerdy to learn how to play a game. GameCube roulette? That might be fun. Yeah, donate donations put it up to 24 hours. Uh 
I was I was kind of okay not not leaning too hard into the give me money messaging because I wasn't really doing it for a charity at that time. Usually I like like to break off some of that money and send it to a nice cause. But no, it was all me that time, and I can I can afford to be a little more relaxed about it. Quite literally, can afford to be more relaxed about it. out some of these losers right away. I've got a lot of people targeting me and they're not switching, which is great. Great for me. Like, singles are giving me five. Which is awesome. Yeah, I don't know why everybody's, everybody's letting me get away with this. And they can't attack me because I'm sending so much, so much garbage to them. They have to clear all that out before they can even send anything my way, so this is ideal. Just gotta be careful about getting too greedy here. have moved on. Maybe not. There we go. See, okay, so now it says 25% up. So now all the lines, all the lines and clears and attacks I do will uh, be increased by 25%. Pretty useful. You kind of, it's, it's the sort of thing where, much like traditional Battle Royale, if you're not, you can stay alive just by kind of hiding and, and like not engaging with anyone being really defensive, but that doesn't mean you'll win at the end because it still comes to a confrontation and if other players have been more active in finding better gear, leveling up, they're just going to beat you. So it's it's an interesting dynamic and it really is kind of accurate to how the headspace of Battle Royales usually play out. deceived me. Thank you. 
That was bad. Shit, man. I'd like two S pieces in a row, one in hold. Come on. Bleh. Right as a giant wave of fucking trash lands on me. Jeez. Uh, Zombie Ruxpin, thanks for gifting five subs. Thank you very much. What'd you think of the ending of Ancient Gods? Eh? I, I thought it was necessary to have some element of the story that wasn't just 100% buttoned up. It was, uh, it was a little strange to me, I think, that the most of the lore in DLC is just very literally told to you. It's very contrary to how um, the rest of lore worked in 2016 or Eternal. So I don't, I don't necessarily mind that the end was a big question mark. A little weird thing. Uh, oh, see a sheath thick. Leaving the hard game on your own is always a good reason. Uh, before you wrap up, wanted to thank you for this stream. Been a rough week. The breakup and a bunch of other little annoyances piling up. It's nice to have a distraction of cool games with cool company. Ah, Brandon, that does sound like a rough week. Sorry, but hey, this one's in the books, man. Maybe next week has to be better, right? Do you think that given the ending, part two is coming out soonish? Oh, I don't think lore has anything to do with with the release uh, pacing of a game. Um. There's, there's really no way to know. Maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It really just depends on uh, how much they've got ready, I guess. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I mean, at the end of... Tw and 2016 ended on a weird cliffhanger, too, and it, and it took, like, what, four years for Eternal to come out? Maybe more? Yeah, four. So. Yeah, I haven't I haven't thought about it too too much. Um, there have been some some lengthy comments on YouTube. I uploaded the uh, the VOD finally, and some people have have written some theories that I, I should check out. Interested to uh, get some different perspectives. That'd be interesting. But yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of like yeah, okay. Seems a little on the nose, I guess. I thought it, I thought they were going to leave it potentially ambiguous what the Doomslayer did with the Father Sphere, but I guess pretty definitively he did he did kill Samur or destroy the Father's essence, which means Vega's dead, right? Which is kind of sad, maybe. To whatever degree, like, whatever death means at that weird s state of life. I don't know, I think, I th I'm gonna play through it again, uh, at some point. Maybe then I'll have, the ending will, I'll have a little more to, to work with. It kind of felt like the ending was pretty abrupt, which I think was the intention, it's supposed to be like a big, a big swerve and then leave you, leave you with questions. Dang, you know, people giving up the medals today. I think this, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is the last round. This one's going well so far, so clearly I'm gonna win it, which means it'll be a great final round. Oops. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Some, to some degree, I think I need to practice down stacking sometimes. This is not the way to do it, though. Absolutely not the way to do it. <laughs> Definitely not the way to do it. This is bad, bad, bad down sacking. Remember when I said this was going well? well? That was a fun time, wasn't it? There we go. Shit. Ugh. You guys all should die from that. That is a ridiculous amount of, of garbage. 
just a ridiculous amount. How am I not hearing KO after KO here? I know that it takes a while for the, the garbage to land in the in the well, but still, damn. That shit would kill me. Damn. People are firing back? There we go. Now we're now now they're rolling in. Oops. Ah, oh, fuck. Aw, oh, shit. was the other one. Crap. 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 Oh, I might be okay. Maybe. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe not. Maybe not. But you have to give me that piece! God damn it! It was the next piece! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when I pin myself in like that. All right. All right. It was good. It was a good feeling. Good to feel that Tetris, Tetris shit again. Good to feel it. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll be a stream for tonight. Um, uh, I'll probably be back on the stream game a little more regularly coming up. I may not stream tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, no wait. Definitely not streaming tomorrow. Wait. Maybe. Maybe earlier. I tetted my last wrist. It's true. Yeah, it's good to be back. So you know. I'm glad. To, uh, I'm very thankful that I can step away for a little bit and come back and there's still people that are interested in, in hanging out. It just doesn't evaporate overnight, which is really nice. Based on what I saw from another stream, my guess is that they're going to reveal the Doom Slayer is actually split in half Lucifer with the good Slayer half as the light and the evil half being Cliffhanger. I mean, maybe. That doesn't add up, though. Like, that would involve even further retconning of, of Doom 1, 2, and uh, 64. I guess there's nothing implying that he wasn't all... Like, I don't know. I feel like that that takes some of the fun away from from the Doom Slayer's character, for whatever it is. It's more fun to me that he's just a normal human guy that loves shooting demons so much that he became this like demigod visitation of, of demon killing. I like that. I like that more than him always being the celestial entity. Before you go look at my dank cacodemon pumpkin, I will. That is a good and dank pumpkin. Damn, that's really good. Did you come up with that design on your own? Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, I, I carved a Chernabog. Midi Tech. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave it on. Sure, I'll just leave it on random clips. It should be spooky clips. I don't know if I have enough. Um, let me, let me, let me look here. Let me, the, 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 the problem is, I probably have enough that would qualify as, like, Halloween themed. I just haven't tagged them all appropriately. So they're probably all hidden in here somewhere. Um... Add some punky Brewster to media tech. I guess I could do that. Oh, it's still searching. That's the other issue. Is like Windows search is actually pretty slow when it comes to searching in Windows Explorer by tag. Can you show us how you curate media tech? I mean, it's pretty simple. I just use Windows Explorer when I type in the tags I'm looking for. I've tagged a couple of things as spooky. And you can see all the like tags over here but tagging is a manual process which makes it uh time consuming and also flawed like sometimes i just miss things especially if i come up with a tag later that i might want to use and then there's a million clips that i've forgotten about before so it's uh it's picking through every file in this folder trying to find anything tagged spooky now we can look at your downloads oh you don't get to see my downloads those are my private files my innermost secret files. This just takes forever, man. It's it's frustrating because Windows Windows Search will index file names, and and the search is very fast, but it doesn't index tags. It has to do a manual search every time. And even it, like it's a solid state, you'd think it would just be, like, but no, it still takes forever. 
almost done. Does it have to go all the way through the X? It does. Come on. Yeah, this is this is what makes it unfortunately not super scalable. My hope was that while I was uh, Windows indexing as trash, I think it's it's fine for for file names. Maybe there's some Windows setting in Explorer to make it index uh, metadata too, because that's essentially what it is. Did you build me the tech? Yeah, uh, it's it's just it's just a series of random clips. That's it. There's there's nothing that magical about it. It's just good for background noise. I did see. Uh, you tried using the everything search program for Windows. No, maybe maybe that's just a better way to do it. If that can read metadata, Windows Explorer metadata, because I think that's... Holy shit, man, it's like slowed way down. At... Oh, no, wait, maybe it's done. So, like, everything tagged spooky right now is just 15 minutes, which is not long enough. But there there might be more in there. What runs it? Uh, it's just a VLC plugin in, uh, in OBS. So, that's it. All right, well, I'll just kick it onto that now. Uh, you feel free to enjoy random clips. Uh, I had hoped to break off more time this week to add more spooky stuff. Just didn't get around to it. That's how it tends to happen, unfortunately. Not enough time for everything. That's the way it goes. But thank you for watching. Uh, I will be looming in chat because I want to make sure people don't get weird. That's always a, a concern, especially with some of the world events lately. But uh, I'll be around. any spooky games tomorrow? Maybe. I don't know. I'm being real loosey-goosey about it. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, enjoy Random Clips or another stream. That's fine, too. See you later. Have a happy Halloween.